Which of the following are examples of social engineering attack? Choose two. Is it A, ransomware? Is it B, spear phishing? Is it C, malware? Or is it D, zero day exploit? You now five seconds. And the quick answers are A and B, spear phishing and ransomware. Spear phishing is targeting email attacks to trick recipients into revealing information. And ransomware is malicious software that encrypts data and demands payment for decryption. And for the incorrect answers, malware is a broad term for malicious software, not exclusively social engineering. An example would be a virus spreading through a compromised website. And the zero-day exploit uh, is exploiting unknown vulnerabilities, not a social engineering technique. An example of that, of that would be exploiting a previously undisclosed software vulnerability. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, which of the following is an example of a privilege escalation attack? Choose one. Is it A, an SQL injection? Is it B, man in the middle attack? Is it C, buffer overflow? Or is it D, evil ill elevating user privileges? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is D, elevating user privileges. Privilege escalation is unauthorized elevation of user privileges. And for the incorrect answers, SQL injection is exploiting vulnerabilities in a database query. An example would be manipulating an SQL query to access unauthorized data. Man in the middle attack intercepts and altering communication. An example would be capturing data exchanged between a user and a server. And the buffer overflow is overwriting memory to execute malicious code. An example would be sending access data to a program to trigger unexpected behavior. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, what type of attack is characterized by an attacker attempting multiple combinations of usernames and passwords to gain unauthorized access? Choose one. Is it A, phishing attack? Is it B, brute force attack? Is it C, DDoS attack? Or is it D, man in the middle attack? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, brute force attack. Brute force attack is trying all possible combinations to guess credentials. And for the incorrect answers, phishing attack are deceptive tactics to trick users into revealing information. An example would be sending an email, posing as a bank, asking for login details. DDoS attack is overwhelming a target system with traffic to disrupt it. An example would be flooding a website with traffic to make it unavailable. And the man in the middle attack is intercepting and altering communication. An example would be capturing data exchanged between a user and a server. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, which of the following best describes a security vulnerability? Choose one. Is it A, unauthorized access to a system? Is it B, an attempt to exploit a vulnerability? Is it C, a weakness that can be exploited, or is it D, a type of malware? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, a weakness that can be exploited. A security vulnerability is a flaw that can be exploited by attackers. And for the incorrect answers, unauthorized access to a system is the result of exploiting a vulnerability. An example would be a hacker gaining unauthorized access through a security flaw. An attempt to exploit a vulnerability describes an attack, not the vulnerability itself. An example would be trying to exploit a known software flaw. And the type of malware. Malware is not a vulnerability. An example would be ransomware encrypting data on a compromised system. And for the next question for exam, question number five. And the question states, which security concept aims to ensure that only authorized personnel can access specific data or systems? Choose one. Is it A, least privilege? Is it B, security through obscurity? Is it C, security policy enforcement? Or is it D, data classification? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, least privilege. Least privilege is assigning the minimum level of access necessary. And for the incorrect answer, security through obscurity is hiding information to protect it, but not about access control. An example would be using an uncommon port for a service to avoid attacks. Security policy enforcement enforces security rules, but not about access control. An example would be ensuring that passwords adhere to complexity requirements. And data classification is categorizing data based on sensitivity, not about access control. An example would be labeling data as public, confidential, or restricted. And for the next question for exam, question number six. And the question states, what does the term zero-day vulnerability refer to? Choose one. 
Is it A, a vulnerability with zero impact on security? Is it B, a security flaw discovered at the last moment? Is it C, a vulnerability exploited on the first day of its discovery? Or is it D, a vulnerability for which no patch or fix is available? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is D, a vulnerability for which no patch or fix is available. Zero day vulnerability is a flaw with no known fix. And for the incorrect answers, a vulnerability with zero impact on security contradicts the term vulnerability. An example would be a non-existing security flaw. A security flaw discovered at the last moment is not related to the timing of discovery. An example would be finding a software bug just before release. And the vulnerability exploited on the first day of its discovery would be an exploitation timing is, isn't relevant. An example would be discovering and exploiting a flaw on the same day. And for the next question for exam, question number seven. And the question states, which of the following describes this concept of defense in depth? Choose two. Is it A, relying on a single layer of security? Is it B, using multiple layers of security controls? Is it C, deploying security controls after an attack? Or is it D, granting broad access to privileges to all users? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are B and C, using a multiple layers of security control and deploying security controls after an attack. The first in depth is implementing multiple layers of security. And for the correct answers, relying on a single layer of security is the opposite of defense in depth. An example would be only using a firewall to protect a network and granting broad access privileges to all users contradicts the principle of least privilege. An example would be giving all employees admin access to a system. And for the next question for exam, question number eight. And the question states, which security concept aims to protect data integrity, authenticity, and confidentiality? Choose one. Is it A, encryption? Is it B, intrusion detection? Is it C, patch management? Or is it D, change control? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, encryption. Encryption protects data by converting it into a secure format. And for the incorrect answers, intrusion detection is monitoring for unauthorized access and is not about data protection. An example would be setting up sensors to detect unauthorized network activity. Uh, patch management is keeping software up to date, but not directly about data protection. An example would be regularly updating operating system and applications. And change control man is managing ch uh, changes to systems, not directly about data protection. An example would be documenting and tracking changes made to a network configuration. And for the next question for exam, question number nine. And the question states, which security principle requires that the user's login credentials be separate from for different systems? Choose one. Is it A, least privilege? Is it B, single sign-on? Is it C, strong password policy? Or is it D, role-based access control? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, single sign-on. Single sign-on or SSO is using one set of credentials for multiple systems. And for the incorrect answers, least privilege is assigning minimal necessary access, but not about credentials. An example would be a user having access only to their specific files. A strong password policy is requiring complex passwords, but not about shared credentials. An example would be mandating passwords with a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. And the role-based based access control is assigning permissions based on roles, but not about shared credentials. An example of that would be a manager having access to employee records based on their role. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what is the purpose of a security policy in an organization? Choose one. Is it A, to identify network vulnerabilities? Is it B, to enforce software licensing? Is it C, to define acceptable behavior and security requirements? Or is it D, to track user activity? And now five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to define acceptable behavior and security requirements. A security policy sets guidelines for how security should be maintained. And for the incorrect answers, to identify network vulnerabilities, policies guide security, but not about identification. An example would be running vulnerability scans to find network weaknesses. To enforce software licensing is not the primary purpose of security policies. An example would be ensuring that software usage adheres to uh, licensing agreements. And to track user activity is not monitoring user is monitoring user actions, but not the primary purpose of policies. An example would be using auditing tools to monitor user behavior. 
Ladies and gents, if you'd like to further support this channel, make sure to check my Udemy instructor channel where I've posted a number of CompTIA exams. The exams consist of 270 questions each and are presented in greater detail. The link for my Udemy instructor channel is presented in the description of this video. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. I hope you found this video informative and I will see you guys next time. Peace!